Suppose you know that the prices paid for cars are normally distributed with a mean of 17,000 and a standard deviation of 500. We want to use the 6895.99.7 rule, or the empirical rule, to find the percentage of buyers who paid in any given range. The first thing to do when working with a problem like this is to draw a picture. And here's the picture for this example. The center is the mean, and then each unit on the axis is the standard deviation. So we have it centered at 17,000, we go up to 17,500, 18,000, 18,500, and we could keep going, but that's all we need. And then on the lower side, we go down to 16,500, 16,000, and 15,500. Here I've also filled in all the percentages for each range. Notice that the empirical rule tells us that 68% of the data falls within one standard deviation of the mean. Since everything is symmetric, each half of that holds half of that 68%, and that's where those 34% numbers came from. Then I know that within two standard deviations of the mean, I have 95% of the data. If I have 68% in the middle, and by going out another standard deviation, I get the 95%, that means the yellow regions together must make up that 27% that gets us from 68% to 95%. So if the two yellow regions together hold 27%, each of them holds half of that, or 13.5%. We can repeat this process for the green regions. Again, going out to a third standard deviation, we know that that holds 99.7% of the data. So the green regions together must hold 4.7% of the data, since everything up through the yellow regions held 95, and then just by adding the two green regions, we got the 99.7. The green regions must be that 4.7%. Therefore, each of them holds half of that, or 2.35%. And then outside the 99.7 is 0.3% of the data. And again, because it's symmetric, each half of that, or each tail, contains 0.15%. Again, the goal is not to memorize these percentages, but just to realize how we got them and be able to rederive them at any point. But now that we have them, we can use them to solve the problem. So, part A asks what percentage of buyers paid between 16,500 and 17,500. So we find those two points on our picture, and between them, we add up the blocks and find that 68% of buyers were in that area. Similarly, for part B, between 17,500 and 18,000, we locate those points, and between them, there's just one region with 13.5%. For part C, we look between 16,000 and 17,000, and there's two blocks there. Adding them up, we get 47.5%. For part D, we're looking between 16,500 and 18,000, and adding up those three blocks, we get 81.5%. So 81.5% of people paid somewhere between $16,500 and $18,000 for their car. Part E asks what percentage paid below $16,000. So that's right here. And below $16,000 we have two blocks to take care of, 2.35% and 0.15%. Adding them together we get 2.5%. So 2.5% of buyers paid less than $16,000 for their car. Lastly, the final part asks what percentage paid above 18,500, and again, there's only one block up there, so 0.15% of buyers paid above that amount. And here we have all the answers summarized.